Previously on Water Rats. I'm Detective Jack Christie, Sydney Water Police. Do you want to book this woman and I'll be on my way? Acting Inspector Julia Goodwin. Sorry to pull rank. Book him and I'll be on my way. I wonder. If we were to have sex, do you think it'll be as crap as the food or as good as the wine? I'm gonna hit it, start wondering. Oh, Jack. I take it you've met Acting Inspector Julia Goodwin in Port Line. I spoke to her on her mobile, if you remember. Anyway, she's in the midst of a multiple homicide. Okay, it's shifted locally, and I want you to look after her, okay? Yeah, sure. Drinks are on me. Really? Oh, what is the occasion? Well, we're going to share a joint address. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're moving in together? Yeah. You're joking, no? Oh, well, I know it's a little fast, but we well, you just thought, thought this is the right time to do it. Um, um, bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> we get a dozen of these a week. Could be nothing. The circumstances fit the profile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If there's a body, I have to be here when it comes out of the water. I am not obsessed. When did I ever say that you're obsessed? The boss thinks I'm obsessed. Looks like another crank call, guys. There's no body down here. We could wait back at my place. I'll call us. I could be ours, searching. So. Hang on, there is something. It could be a woman. Over here. No one authorised yeah, access. Thing, guys. I'm a pathologist here. It's Jeff all yours, Brown. Inspector. Thanks. Yeah, the victim matches the description of the abducted girl. Yeah. Okay. That means something to you? Marks on the eyes? It means we've got a serial killer on our hands. I don't snore, man. Hmm. You were snoring. I don't snore. Ah. Had a second opinion, have you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah, morning. Spoiling me. Oh, and it just begun. <laughs> Did you know that alarm system was off last night? What? <laughs> look, I'll get a professional the next time to have a look at it, okay? <gasps> what? <gasps> Hun, what's up? 
Oh, you've seen the modern paper? Yeah, how could I miss it? Oh, well, yesterday all Julia had was a theory. Looks like she was right. <laughs> Inspector Julia Goodwood confirmed yesterday's abduction and murder of a Sydney woman was laced in a series of killings spanning the continent. Well, she didn't give too much away. Oh, what do you reckon? Serial killer strikes? You don't think that gives anything away? Well, maybe that's what she wanted to do. She's a profiler. Maybe oh, she released it to the media for right. a good reason. Yeah, that or a good slap of self-promotion. But you know what? What would I know, Michael? How many eggs? One or two? Julia. Bronson won't have a choice. He'll have to let me head up a case now. Right, right. Listen, I don't think I made enough eggs for you and me and Chief Superintendent Bronson. It's working. Don't begrudge me a task force, Jack. I've been working on this case on my own for a year and a half. Ooh, a task force, eh? Then he can't leave you as an acting inspector. He's gonna have to confirm your promotion. Bill, come in, Helen. Chief Superintendent Bronson's on his way up here. Ah, oh, excellent. Uh, when Jack arrives, can you ask him to come up here as well? What's going on? I don't know. It's the Chief Super's call. He's asked for this meeting and he's asked for Julia Goodwin to attend. Oh. I know what I'd be saying if she was my officer. Sir. Good morning, Jeff. Sir. Hmm. Julia's got an agenda, of course. Oh, thanks for organising this discussion, by the way. Oh, it's uh, no problem at all, sir. Mind you, <laughs> it might help if I knew what the discussion was about. I called Sykesy and his mobile switched off. I'll give it a wild oh, guess. Yes. Breakfast in bed. What? He makes over breakfast in bed. <laughs> Sykesy, you're joking. <laughs> it gets worse. Saturday morning, shopping at the markets. Oh, it must be love. <gasps> Inspector Goodwin, the Chief Inspector. His office, I've got the message. Demarcation dispute, do you think? No idea. What's going on? Don't you read the paper? No. The white wash, mate. What? True romance. The boss will want a better excuse than that. Boss in? Yeah, but he's in a meeting. Jack, sir, can I just uh, say uh, a minute? Please? Not now, Sykes. So this is important. Don't right? later. Close the door, you Jack. So given the evidence uncovered, surely we take over this investigation. The evidence indicates we may have a multiple killer on our hands. Your instincts are correct. Nice work. And I know you feel that you should have a task force headed by you, but unfortunately that's not an option at this moment in time. Sir, it's a logical option. Uh, the Chief Superintendent has requested that you run the case with our team. And the newspaper article was a misjudgment. I uh, would repeat it. If I so you know as well as I do, it was a valid course of action you given. Have yours, Inspector. Well, thanks again, Jeff. Get no you problem. Posted. No problem. I'm sorry. Right, I presume you'll be briefing the team as soon as possible. My team. Well, that's thanks. the agreement. Twenty minutes, Jeff. Twenty minutes, sir. Uh, Jeff, Deputy Commissioner on Line Two. Uh, some VIP wants a police. Oh, launch. right. Okay. Suddenly we're a taxi company. I might as well put a meter in the bloody boat. Oh, can I help you, Gavin? No, thanks. Eighteen months ago, the first victim was abducted and murdered in Perth. I think the same killer has murdered five women. Only three bodies have been found. One in Perth, one in Brisbane, and yesterday's victim found here. Two bodies are yet to be recovered, one in Newcastle and one in Darwin. Mick, will you hand these out for me? OK, hang on, you've only recovered three bodies, so how can you be sure that he's responsible for the other two missing girls? The MO was consistent in all cases. Two women go out together socially, they're separated, soon after one of them disappears. <clears throat> this killer is stalking his victims. In all three cases, there was no apparent motive and no sign of sexual assault. You got anything stronger than that? 
If you look at your sheets, you'll see that he started in Perth 18 months ago. He worked his way up the west coast, then headed east, and now he's here. Jeez, what are we looking for? A feral backpacker? <laughs> at this point, we're looking for him. This man is very clever, very ordered, very organised and very careful. So far we have no DNA. Hey, the Jackson? other girl in Darwin came huh? back. She saw her friend being forced into a van and this is the face of the man she said she saw. I mean, he just looks so, I don't know, ordinary. He might be the most ordinary man you'll ever see, but he knows he's extraordinary. Since he began, the time frame between killings is getting shorter, which leads us to believe that his desire to kill is greater now than ever, which works in our favour, because soon he'll have to take risks and make mistakes. Yesterday's victim had a friend with her, Rebecca Parsons. She was the one that reported the disappearance. Will you get her in here as soon as possible? I think we need to speak to her right away. Sure. Mick and Alex, will you go back to where the body was found? Stick with forensics. I still need to know whether she was killed there or somewhere else. And Jack, I need a list of any van that's had a traffic infringement or parking ticket in the last month. What, you think he's using the same vehicle? Well, could be. He's travelling from state to state. I suspect he's probably living in it. Anyway, get a list. We'll cross-check it with the other states. Julia, do you want to explain these markings, the, uh, the dots on the eyelids? They were important to the killer. They were applied very carefully with a felt-tip pen. Uh, OK, but one body was, was found in a burnt-out car, right? Uh, the body was completely charred, there were no eyelids. So uh, how can we be sure that it's one of his? Her disappearance was consistent with the MO of the others? Yeah, but that's uh, circumstantial. We still can't be sure. No. No, we can't be sure. Look, I think the dots on the eyelids are some kind of ritual, which is common in the case of a serial killer. This one likes trophies too. Well, what sort of trophies? Tabs from a Polaroid camera were found at the crime scenes in both Perth and Brisbane. That's it. Let's get to work. Jack, if you need to question me, can you please not do it in front of the team? That's a whole point of a briefing. Yeah, I know, but this isn't my turf. I need them focused and I need them to trust me. What? Jack and Julia, they're doing it. No. They are, they are. No. You know I'm right, you know I'm no. right. No. Really? What, do you reckon they are? Jack and Julia too. Well, geez, that makes Jack a hypocrite then, isn't it? Because he's always going on about mixing the personal with the professional. Exactly, so he needs his butt kicked, right? Well, I reckon, playing second fiddle to Julia Goodwin, he's going to get just that. Might be a good thing. <laughs> Lights, you weren't in the briefing. Where well, were sir, you? I'll need to talk to you in private. All right. Well, spit it out if you've got a problem. Yep. Sir, I'm quitting. I wanted to tell you face to face, I owe you that much. Oh, Sucks, right? Okay, what's the story? I can't tell you, so I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm going to need some sort of an explanation, you see, Sucks. Somebody might ask me. It's personal. Oh, right, okay. Well, if you feel uncomfortable talking to me, is there somebody else here you it's might... It's not about you, sir. It's not about the job. It's just that I have to leave. Gavin, it is your career. Do you want to take some time out just to think about... No, sir. No. I have to go. Sykes, you can't just walk out. Sir, I have to leave today. I don't understand, sir. There'll be another officer assigned to the nemesis. Yeah, but he's here. I just saw him. He's resigned, believe me. Who's resigned? Sykes. Sykes? Of the boat crew? Why? I don't know. No reason. Don't tell me you didn't know. You're his partner. No, he didn't say anything. Did you spend all day together on a boat? You must have known something was wrong. There was nothing wrong. The guy was happy. How do you think it makes me feel that he didn't say anything? Oh, this has been an awful day. I wish I wasn't here. I wish I'd been off sick. Donna, mm -hmm. got a list of the officers' home addresses and phone numbers? Matt, isn't it? Yeah, Matthew Quinn. I need you to canvas the river area, near where the victim was found. Talk to people with boats. Someone must have seen something. Yeah, I'll get on it. As soon as they assign me a new partner. What am I? Someone he can't trust? Well, maybe Sykes is... Oh, cripes, I don't even want to say it. Sick. Look, you saw this freak throw your friend into the back of a van. It's understandable, you know? 
Gavin, he, look, he must be here for me. I mean, after all this time, what do you think? He's been following me. Um, I told you, Evie, he doesn't know you, OK? He doesn't know who you are. Look, it, listen to me. It doesn't matter, OK? You're with me and you're safe. Come on. It's OK. Inspector? I can Gavin. help you. That's Gavin. right. Yep. Gavin? Come in. Thanks. And Eva. Oh, well, wait a minute. What is this? Um, we haven't met, but I know a lot about you. I've listened to the statement that you made in Darwin. How did you know she was in Sydney? I make sure I know where Eva is. She's my only witness. Have you got this, uh, have you got this maniac? You got him in custody? No. No, okay. Well, then Eva has nothing to say to you. Now, if you don't mind, we've got things to do. Are you moving again, Eva? What's that, the fourth or fifth time since leaving Darwin? You've got no right to speak to her like this. I think I do have a right. I think your friend Kim might think I had a right. Have you found the body? No, not, not yet, but we're close. We're very close. But he's very clever, Eva. He's left us almost no evidence, only you. That's it. I want you out of here now. If we catch him and we can't find you, then we may have to release him. In your statement in Darwin, you said that you felt like you let Kim down, that you felt you could have done something to save her. Well, this is your chance. Don't run away now. Stay. Stay here for I us. I said out. Out now. Eva, think about it. All right, so the two of you were just walking past the shopping centre, yeah? Now, were there any cars parked there? I don't know. Some. Right, Rebecca, can you, can you remember anyone, anyone just sitting in any of these cars? No. Do you remember what sort of cars they were? Were they, were they four-wheel drives or station wagons or vans or...? I don't know. If she was found in the water, would she drown? We don't know yet. Right, so... So then you went, what, from the... from the mall to the club, yeah? We bought a drink and we played roulette. Mm -hmm. You know, the, um... The electronic one. Right. Is that much of a walk from the mall to the club? No. Did anyone talk to you? Anyone? No. Do you think he followed us? He could have, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, Rebecca, now listen, I want you to think, I want you to think very carefully. Was there anyone, anyone that you saw that made you feel uncomfortable? Still had 2,000 credits left in this stupid machine. She only had to walk two blocks. She should have been all right. I'm sorry. I'll get someone to bring you a cup of tea, OK? Hey, what's going on in there? I said we'd interview her. She arrived, you weren't here. What's the problem? I need to be here. I thought that was obvious. Look, look, look. She's in shock, right? And I didn't want her sitting around waiting for you to decide to tell me where you were. Was the interview recorded? She's not a suspect. She's not even a witness. She doesn't know anything. She didn't see anything. This is a multiple homicide, Jack. I need things done a certain way. I want all interviews recorded. OK. Next time, I'll obey orders. She could have said anything, and you don't know whether it's important or not. Okay, okay. The divers have found the victim's shoes and jacket pretty near where the body was dumped. Now, forensic, they're still working on it, right? But they have identified the gravel in the treads of the shoes. It's specific to the northern end of Baronia Park. OK, so I think we've found the crime scene. Gavin, I am not going! Honey, she's manipulating no, me. No, she's understand? not. You don't understand. She right. is right about the running. He doesn't stop you from being scared, OK? Hello. Yeah, come in, Matt. Oh, it doesn't stop you from being ashamed, all right? OK. I just want this to be over. I know. Hey, Matt. Sorry, Matt. Look, mate, I'm sorry to turn up and invite you. Yeah, no, it's all right. Come here, come here. Are you leaving? 
Yeah, it looks that way. You have a seat. Thanks. So, uh, so who they put you uh, on the nemesis with? Tony. Oh, good. He'll do a good job. Well, it's only temporary till they give me a partner with your seniority. Where are you going? Well, at this point, I don't even know if we're going. Mate, if you need any help, money, anything, whatever I've got. <laughs> whatever you got. <laughs> Mate, you just gave 20 bucks off me yesterday and 20 the week before that. You kidding me? Well, if I had anything to spare, it'd be yours. Yeah, I know. Look. Might as well tell you because this is going to be around the station anyway. She's a, she's a witness, mate. To what? To that bloody serial killer in Darwin. She saw him there. Some drag marks and some footprints. They might be able to get an impression. Might be. I'm sorry, they're getting an impression now. I need you to be clear. Is there anything else? Yeah, there's three Polaroid tabs. You were right. The killer likes your snapshots. That, that's it? So far, Julia. So far. <sighs> Well, this is what you've been waiting for, isn't it? Crime scene less than 24 hours old, so there's got to be something more than this. OK, let's wait and see if Forensic can get a print off the tabs. Oh, no, don't count on it. Sooner or later, he's got to make a mistake. Oh, not until he does the next one, right? Hey, come on, Al, you're out of line. No, look, I've been looking at a girl's blood and seeing how she died. Terrified, right? So how many more people have to die before you get a profile on this guy that means anything? I am so glad we're getting takeaway because that means I don't have to cook. Hey, listen. We could get out the title with that guy. He's somewhere out there, Joe. Yeah, yeah, he is. Unless he's moved on. I think so. Hey, Alex. Alex was out of line today, but she gets involved, right? Oh. I'm used to that. Mention the word profiler and everyone thinks you're a witch or some kind of fake. Oh, yeah, it's only clear to me. I wouldn't hold it against you, Jack. Look, if someone could second guess this bastard before he kills again, then I wouldn't mind if it was one of the witch. No one else saw the pattern. When I pointed it out, they didn't believe me. When I pursued it, they told me I'd lost perspective. But I persevered because I was right. And I've been right all along. Yeah, and they believe you now. I know, they had to wait till they saw the second body with the dots on the eyelids. Look, if I hadn't been with you when we found the body, then I might have believed that you'd painted those dots on yourself. That was a little joke. You were right, no appetite. Hey, come on, I was joking, <laughs> Julia. I've got, a, I've got work to do. I do it better at my place. I was joking. I knew there was something not right about her. Hang <laughs> on a minute. Eve is not a criminal. She's a witness, for God's sake, if this is anything to go on. I'm not saying I don't feel sorry for her after having to hide from someone like that for 18 months. No, you're just saying that you were right and we were wrong. I get it. All I'm saying is I had an instinct that Eva wasn't what she said she was. Hang on a minute. What the hell is this person in hiding? There's Gavin's place on this front page. How the hell did they get that? Hey, Alex, come here. Do you know anything about this? News to me. And if I had known about Eva, I wouldn't have split it to the papers. Well, hang on a minute. Maybe nobody did. Oh. OK, look, the media, they already had the details of the initial murders and the fact that there was a witness in Darwin. You know, they just had to backtrack through a few papers and they would have come up with it. I mean, it's not like Eva changed her name. No, but she did change her address. Right, the, the point is that this place is Eva at risk. Gavin as well. This is... Yeah, I tried to call Gav as soon as I saw it, but he wasn't answering the phone. Can't blame him. Well, he probably shot through. That would explain his resignation, yeah? Is it true, Jack? I don't know. Well, you know, it was either the witness that Julia was talking about. I figured you'd know. No, oh, I don't. You sure? What? Hey, Jack. Where's Julia? I don't know where she is. She's got a mobile switched off. Al, do you want to head down the paper and talk to the journalist, find out where he got his story oh, from? Oh, well, right? I, I can guess about that. What? What? Oh, come on, Jack. What, what, what are you saying? The sex is that good that you can't see how this woman operates outside the bedroom? Give me a break. Hey, right, I'll speak to the journalist. All right, check out the source. <laughs> yeah, right? It'll be my pleasure. Say, Julia, 
What am I, her keeper? Hey, touchy. If you see her, tell her I want to talk to her. Okay, Jeff, what are we going to do about this? Oh, yeah, it's been confirmed. She's the witness. I've got the local boys that are over there. She and Gavin are in the flat. I've given instructions to them not to answer the phone, so I want you to get over there and talk to them. I want to relocate yeah. it and right. protect it. Right. Right. Attitude, yeah, well, do you know? Hey, hey. Hey, Matt, no use hiding, mate. It's all out in the open. What? You're his partner, mate. Don't tell us you didn't know about Eva. Well, Gavin didn't know himself until yesterday morning. I went there after work. He told me then. Why the bloody hell didn't he tell us? He did. Goulburn was over there. What? Yeah, well, Gavin was going to do a runner. That's why Gavin resigned. Inspector Goulburn went over there to talk him into staying put yesterday. You take the side. All right, sir. Was it you? Was you, wasn't it? Listen, what matters to everyone now is if he's safe. Oh, don't give me this crap. You any part in this, Jack? Don't be stupid. I'm going to break this person's neck and put this in the paper, Jack. Outside. Just shut up, Gavin. Oh, Let me sort this out. And if you see someone in the garden, don't freak out, because it'll be Mick, right? Did you give this to the media? It's being checked. Good. I'm glad. Now, if you're finished, I have the welfare of my witness. Right, so you to. came here yesterday and you talked them out of leaving. Yes, yeah. Jack, because I need her. Without her, I don't have a case. Well, Hawker wants them relocated. Well, you talk to her. How'd you go? Not good, Jack. Look at this, found a couple of Polaroid tabs. I think the bastard's been here already. So Eva's asked for witness protection. Well, she has now. I mean, Gavin made up her mind for as soon as they knew that the killer had paid them a visit. Yeah, the safe house has been set up, Chief. All right, good enough. Let's get her out of there. Sir, we're missing an opportunity here. Hey, He's watching the flat. I know, I know it's against his standard MO. But something's changed. He's angry now. There's no room for discussion on this. We're not using a civilian. We could pull a switch. Oh, how'd you go with the journalist? He denies ever being tipped off about Eva. Says that when the case hit the papers, that's when he did his own footwork. Well, that's it then. It's going back a little bit there, Julia. What kind of a switch are you talking about? Alex with Eva. What's this? Alex and Mick go to the flat. If the killer's watching, he sees them go in and he sees them leave. Except in the meantime, Alex has switched identity with Eva. Mick takes Eva to the safe house and Alex stays in the flat. What's your opinion, Jack? What if the killer's not watching the flat? He's watching the flat. OK. Alex? Yeah, OK, I'm in. Don't go wandering near the windows. No, well, according to Julia, he's never used a gun. Listen, I'm not taking anything for granted. I've got a funny feeling about this guy. Eva, you ready to go? Yeah. Where are we going? I can't tell you that in advance. Gavin can't know where I am, can he? Well, those are the rules. It's for your own safety, OK? Well, if you don't catch him, I might have to live like this forever, might not I? We'll catch him. Good outside, Jack. Ten teams of two. Ten? What, you reckon that's enough, dear? Well, any more it wouldn't be surveillance, it'd be a bloody reunion. There is a hole in this operation, Jack, and I know that. Oh, come on, Gaff. Yesterday, you resigned, now you're giving me advice. But these cops outside, are gonna, they're going to take time to respond. All right, we're going to be in here on our own for at least a minute. Now, tell me you've got a gun for me, at least. You know, I can't do that. I feel so useless. Do you understand hey, hey, that? Gaff, listen. Mick's going to look after him. Yeah, of right? course he is. Mm. He is, because that's his job, Jack. Right. That's what he's got to do. Everything's fine. Great. Yeah. Evo, it's clear. Okay. 
<sighs> OK, Eva, uh, this is Constable Andrea Rogers. She's going to be looking after you with Mick here just in the short term. OK? Hi, Eva, you're going to be fine. Now, in the suitcase, I've got some food for you, I've got a change of clothes and I've got a radio for you, Mick. No, thanks, Helen. Uh, can I call Gav, just let him know I'm OK? No outgoing calls. Sorry, I'll let him know. OK, I'm off. See you. Thanks. Uh, Helen's left her phone here. Listen, I'm just going to take it out to her. Andrew, can you lock up when I leave? Where's Helen, man? She was just there. What? She was just there. There was a truck in the way. Oh, shit. She's in that blue van, man. Get after it. It's kidnapped. Her. Right, you stay with Eva. You don't let her out of your side. What's happened? OK, the bastard's followed them to the safe house. He's got Helen. Uh, what do you mean he's got Helen? We're out of Look, here. this could be a setup. A Mick is on his own. So tell me where the safe house is, Jack. It's Dean Street, 19. Let's go. How the hell did you Where's get Gav? She all right? Yeah, she's all right. Gavin! Gavin! Eva! Eva! Hi. Oh. Gavin, will you keep your voice down, please? This yeah. is meant to be a safe house. Righto. He's one of ours. He can stay here. Andrew, I'm out of here, OK? Lock up. Thanks, Donna. OK, it looks like we've got two sealed roads in and it looks like we've got a number of tracks. One, two, three, four. We've got five tracks in. Now, this man is dangerous. Where the hell is this reserve, Chief? At the junction of Emily Street and Smith. OK, Al, yep. Quinn, this way. Righto. Mick, where are you? I'm at the northern end, Jack. I'm moving in.
found the van, there's no sign of Helen. They found the van. She's alive. Go! <laughs> okay, we found Helen. She's alive. Now the suspect is on the run, northeast quadrant. Okay, Eva, when you get in there, the most important thing is just to take your time, okay? Now, if you recognise the man who abducted your friend in Darwin, then you write his number on the piece of paper on the table. Okay, that, that, that's all you have to do. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we'll go. See them from the side? Yeah, can you all please face the wall? Coming in. I'm going to be somewhere else. Interview with unknown male, 25th of February 2001. Present in the interview, <laughs> Inspector Goodwin, Detective Sinclair, Detective Riley. Unknown male, huh? No, oh, we <coughs> didn't have any ID on you, and there's no in the van, so why don't you give us your name? That bitch hurt me. Don't want to give us your name? Oh, she hurt me. You let her hurt me. You stood there and you let her hurt me. I didn't fight back. She hurt me. She's a malicious bitch. Okay. If you got a complaint, I'll take the details. Your name? I like that. I think you must be the clever one, yeah? You abducted a woman yesterday. No, I, I, I never abducted anyone. Give me your name. Name? Ah, uh, Luke. Luke. Luke? Okay, Luke, you've just been identified in an abduction of a woman whose body has not yet been found. Yeah, but I, I've, never, I've never killed anyone. Does that sink into your clever brain, you stupid, pathetic gal? Does it? Huh? How's it going? You all right? Pretty good, really. Not even concussed. Hmm. Cavalry, on time. I think that's your cue, Jack. Just going to have a chat to the doctor. Well, we got him. Listen, I, uh, I picked you this. It's from the hospital garden. It was a waste, Jack. I hate gerbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. So listen, anything you need, right? No. 
going to ask me? Yeah, later. I can't tell you much anyway, really. I was blindfolded. Couldn't see a thing in the van. When I was eventually dragged out of it and uh, the blindfold was taken off, I was looking straight into the sun. I didn't even get a good look at the guy who was taking the photo. He was in silhouette. The flash went off. And that's when I was hit. That's fine. That's OK. I was lucky, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. You were. Really lucky. I've just got him talking. This has better be important. OK. Mick was only 30 seconds behind Helen when she left the safe house to return her mobile phone. Right. So in 30 seconds, that bloke in there grabbed Helen, he subdued her, and he got her into the back of a van. I don't think so. What are you saying to me? OK, in the bush, Helen was being photographed at the same time she was being hit. You think about it. There's two of them. We've only got one. His mate is still out there. This isn't over.